Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Carly Myers and I'm the founder of Work You Love. And uh, what I do is I help people who are no longer happy at work find their joy. Um, so I uh, went to an event earlier this morning called A Guide to Pennsylvania's Proposed Overtime Rule. So the majority of you guys in this group are probably from the Pennsylvania area. If you're not from the Pennsylvania area, you're somewhere on the East Coast. Um, so I would encourage you to look into, in your state or your region, um, wherever you are, what are, you know, what, what's going on with overtime rules? What is going on in the employment pay uh, laws in your state? Um, because I went to an event this morning and I found out some crazy stuff. Um, I also was uh, really intrigued by the energy in the room surrounding what we talked about. So I just want to give you some fun facts um, that I learned today. I'm going to look at my notes from the event um, about P Pennsylvania's uh, current overtime rules and laws. So currently, as of today, um, if you make $250 a week or $13,000 in annual salary, um, and your duties are like uh, what I would call like white, white collar duties, um, your company does not have to pay you overtime. $13,000. The last time that this law was updated was in, in the 1970s. 40, 40 years, 50, almost 50 years ago, this law was updated. $13,000 went a lot further back in the 70s than it does in 2018. I thought that was absolutely outrageous, absolutely crazy. I also found out that in, uh, what year was it? I think it was in the, in recent years, 2000, I think it was like 16, don't quote me on this, that the federal government actually tried to increase the minimum salary requirement um, that employers needed to pay their employees so as to not have to pay them overtime. Um, the federal government actually tried to increase that um, to, I think it was uh, to like 900 or 600, somewhere between 600 and $900 a week, um, or like 40 some thousand dollars uh, annually. The, that court case, that like that law actually went to court. Hey, Christina. That law actually went to, uh, to, like, there was a big lawsuit about it, and the government actually lost. So they were unable to federally increase the minimum wage um, or the minimum salary or pay per week um, that was required to not have to pay overtime. So for those of you who are just coming on, I found out today, um, which is absolutely ridiculous, that the law here in Pennsylvania has not been updated um, in terms of the minimum salary requirement to not have to pay overtime since the 1970s. So employers, if they pay you a salary of $13,000 or more, they can basically work you to death without ever having to pay you overtime. Crazy. This is completely crazy. So back in June, uh, June 23rd, 2018, um, Governor Wolf here um, in PA actually proposed um, a new rule or new law trying to update this. Um, hey, Christina, how are you? Um, and he's trying to actually start in 2019 with the minimum requirement being $610 a week or $31,000 and some change annually, meaning you have to make at least $31K a year um, or they have to pay you overtime. Basically, you make $30K a year or you have to track your hours and you can't work overtime. You make over $30K a year, you can, they can work you as much as you want. What was really, really shocking to me about this informational meeting was that the majority of the people in the room, I was like the outlier, I was like the weirdo in the room. The majority of the people in the room were outraged um, or like, oh, let's say some of them were outraged. Most of them were like, ooh, this is the worst law I've ever seen. Like they were disgusted by it um, because they're employers and they have bigger companies and they have a lot of employees. So they don't want to have to worry about paying overtime because it's a lot of money. Um, what was crazy to me, though, is that none of us, none of the people in the room, for the most part, unless they were being quiet, were thinking about the fact that $13,000 in annual salary is absolutely freaking ridiculous in order to survive off of. So um, I'm really, really excited that this is in, um, in process in terms of the Pennsylvania government. 
um, to get a proposed, you know, to move it from $13,000, moving it to $31,000 in annual salary so that, um, you know, if you're making under that, you don't have to work, over, like, you don't have to work extra hours and not get paid for it. If you do work extra hours, you can get paid better. Um, after the first year, though, so I just want to give you this because I just, this, like, boggled my mind so freaking much that I was like, I have to share this with you guys because this is not common knowledge and we're the ones getting, you know, paid and this is affecting us on so many levels. So in 2019, they're proposing that, um, so long as this law passes, that if you're making $610 a week or $31,000 annually um, and above, you, you know, you won't get paid over time. You're just, it's part of your salary. A year later, they're going to increase that minimum, which will, it'll go from $610 a week or $31,000 to $766 a week or $39,000 and some change. Um, in order to work as much as you know they want you to be around, you check email whenever you want, um, and not get paid overtime. A year after that, so now we're at 2021, they're proposing to raise it from um, 766, which would be 2020, to nine, um, 921, $920 a week, or I missed the salary, I didn't get, a, get, get to write it down. Um, so it's gonna be probably in the 40s in terms of minimum salary. So the good news is, is that our government, uh, in terms of Pennsylvania at least, is really thinking about the employees and they're not letting the businesses run, um, their businesses not thinking about, um, you know, how, how this is, you know, basically not letting the businesses overwork their employees. A lot of people were really concerned about the side effect that this might have, employees feeling like they're being demoted because they have to track their hours or because I want to show my boss that I'm a really great employee, so I want to check my email on the weekends. I would argue that yes, in, in some ways, if you have to start tracking your hours, it does feel like a demotion. However, it could really promote work-life balance. A lot of us are at home on our emails, checking work emails at all hours of the day. We're doing lesson plans. I know a lot of teachers out there are you know, in that realm, working, 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 and getting underpaid. So I'm really excited that the government is trying to protect employees in this realm. The side effect that could be bad would be to consider if they don't want to pay um, their lower level employees, they don't want to raise their pay and they don't want to pay them overtime, layoffs could be a side effect of the law. So um, it's it was a really, really interesting uh, talk. There was so many things that I could share with you, but I think that was the most interesting thing that I think you would find interesting that the, the law here in Pennsylvania has not been updated since the 1970s. Um, they don't have to pay you any overtime hours if you're making over $13,000 annually. Crazy, um, but we are working and moving in the right direction. Um, so for s some information in terms of like this law being developed and you live in PA, um, or if you live in another state and you wanna look into your laws, I, re I really, really encourage you to. Um, this Pennsylvania law is currently, uh, it was submitted, the IR, I'm learning about these organizations, organizations too. It was submitted to the, by the DLI, I believe. I might be getting it wrong. Um, but it was submitted to the IRRC. I don't remember what that stands for. Um, but they reviewed it and then gave it back to the government to, you know, put it, fix the tweaks, and then propose, like, the finalized law. So since it's not actually finalized and um, they're still moving forward on it, you have uh, the opportunity to um, give your feedback. So if you're in support of this, or you're saying, you know, I don't think it should be um, an annual salary of 30,000, I think it should be higher, or, you know, whatever, whatever your opinion about this law is, it's not officially been passed. So uh, you wanna be able to support it, go support it. If you don't wanna support it, do your thing. But uh, I just want you guys to know that this is something that's in the works. I'm excited that the government is moving in this direction. Um, but we gotta get the, you know, hit the ground running and support however we can uh, to make this happen because employees are being underpaid and overworked and I see it day in day out so I know it's really important and I know you guys see it too so um, just thought I would share it again this is from um, an event that I went to called a guide to Pennsylvania's proposed overtime rule very fascinating if you want to get involved definitely google it um, I'm sure if you go to the the Chamber of Commerce for uh, your local area you'll be able to figure out you know how to get and support this um, in the meantime, I hope that everyone is well. I hope this information was helpful and that it helps you really grow as a professional because uh, 
you can't stand up for yourself if you don't know what you're standing up for. so i love you guys and i will see you soon.